Good morning, friends. Together walk, <laughs> together run 31. I want you to start as always. I'll explain what I mean by that in just a minute. But first, beginning, can we all start by touching some element of nature? You just crouch down, touch the ground, touch something alive. Got a nice pile of crunchy leaves here. And we will begin. I think I may be a bit overdressed here. So, we will see. <laughs> okay, we're ready to begin. In three, two, and one. Off you go. Off I go for my walk. Uh, I'll explain why that is. In, well, I guess now. <laughs> you may have seen, if you are on the Running For Real email list, which I hope you are, by the way. If you are not, please come join us. Uh, if you enjoy these together runs, it is very much the same um, same style as that. Um, it is very Tina-ish. There's a section in for Maria in there, which is always really insightful, and um, it is also just really enjoyable in terms of being real. So if you enjoy these together runs, this is definitely something for you. Um, that said. Uh, Yes, so I said it on my email, I've also said it on social media, but if for some reason you don't have either of those and this is the only method you have with communicating with me, you will not know that I am walking uh, instead of, as I record this on Friday morning, I was supposed to be pre-race, right? I've been talking about the Golden Gate Classic 50k I was going to be doing and instead I'm here in St. Louis, um, not going anywhere, and uh, we had to cancel our trip to California, cancel my race, cancel going up to see Steve's family for Thanksgiving, I think you probably know where this is going. I don't have COVID yet, uh, but my girls do. Both tested positive on Monday, um, and uh, yeah just unfortunate um, one of my neighbors is backing up her driveway so if she sees me she might stop to talk for a minute so I may need to pause this they seem to be just going <laughs> didn't see me uh, so we yeah girls tested positive it's been a rough week to be honest um, hasn't really given me the time to kind of grieve the race because it's just been surviving. Um, unfortunately, while my girls did not end up with a serious element of uh, COVID, they were both pretty sick. Well, more Chloe than Bailey. Chloe had uh, croup-like symptoms, which is like that barking seal cough had to be upright all the time. So we both, you know, took turns in the night to just sleep sitting up. Um, to hold her they were both pretty miserable and so uh, we are uh, we've just been trying to survive uh, because we're both vaccinated we do, don't have to quarantine ourselves so we could go grab groceries and people have been really generous and kind and offering stuff and sending us things and stuff so that's been really appreciated um, but the reality is, uh, when you have a one-year-old and a three-year-old coughing in your face for days on end, I'm not sure my vaccine's going to be enough to keep it away. Uh, and so I'm fully expecting to test positive in a few days. Um, so I'm out for a walk while I still can. Uh, okay, so I want to do the body scan and then I'll tell you a little bit more uh, and just talk a bit more. So let's begin with a body scan. If this is your first together run, I would actually recommend stopping this right now and going to uh, a previous together run. You can either start with the more frantic, or well not frantic, more lively, energetic New York version, or I would actually recommend going to any of the others um, to uh, do those because uh, they are more traditional together runs. And so, uh, this is definitely not a normal together run, primarily because I'm walking. Um, 
but I guess it's not really that different to you other than you can't hear my footsteps and my breathing is going to be a lot calmer but it's also going to be a bit different in terms of the structure so if this is your first time go back if you're a regular regular listener it's going to be pretty similar we're going to just change maybe a few things as I just honestly use you as a therapy session to talk through what I'm feeling as I haven't really given myself that time to think um, this is the first time I'm going out to by myself in days to do something that is just quiet and uh, other than the school bus that is quiet and just reflective so you're going to help me work through that. But we're going to begin with our body scan, as we always do. So what you're going to do, I'm going to call out various parts of your body and work through them as you travel down and just check in with the various parts of your body and just seeing how things feel. So are you ready to begin? Okay, starting with the top of your head, moving down into your eyes, around into your ears, nose, mouth, going into your chin and jaw, making sure everything is nice and relaxed there. We tend to squint or hold tension in our jaw, make sure you loosen everything up, relax those eyes, going down into your neck, the back of your neck, moving around into the front of your neck, into your shoulders, going down your upper arms, into the lower arms, wrist, hands and fingers. Going back into the torso, through your chest, around the back of your back muscles, going round to the front, into your stomach, as we go into the hips and pelvis, feeling those glutes, working into your quads and hamstrings, to the back of the knee, round to the front of the knee, going into your calf and shin around the front, into your ankles and heel, arch, top of the foot, and finally into your toes. How's everything feeling? Just take a moment to reflect on what you noticed doing that exercise. I'll check back in. Okay. Next, I want you to tell me if we were running together right now, which we do. We have this weekly date where we get to run together. Although if you were with me today, I'd be pleading with you to walk with me or maybe I'd be biking next to you. What would you tell me about how you're feeling emotionally, phys uh, mentally, spiritually? How are you feeling? Let's just take a moment to think about what you would tell me if you're going to answer there. What would you say? If you feel like you finished already, dig a bit deeper. What would you tell me? I just want to let you know that I just had two phone calls come in, even though my phone is on Do Not Disturb. So if it went quiet for a minute. I apologise. Uh, you're supposed to be asking, ans answering how you're mentally and emotionally feeling. Okay, as I've given you enough time, assuming that it worked. What would I then go to tell you? Well, <laughs> how am I feeling? As I said, this is going to be a little bit of a therapy session. Um, it's the first time I've really thought about it. I mean, people have asked it, 
But, you know, the last few days, a lot of people have asked. The last few days, I've just mostly been in survival mode. I've just been thinking about the girls. When people ask, how am I? I'm like, I'm just getting through the next few days. Um, I feel okay. I really do. I feel the race is disappointing when I think about the fact that 24 hours from now I should have been running my first 50k in one of my favorite places to run. It hurts. I'm not gonna lie, it does. But I think the reality is that I know how much worse this could have been. And I just think that keeps me mostly grounded and has have a, having reality checks. Like, I know my girls could have been much sicker. I know I definitely could have been, like, 100% had positive and, and been potentially much sicker. I know that um, it, this could have happened the day before going to England. And as much as I'm sad to miss this, trip uh, if I think about like had this happened the day before flying home after two and a half years of not seeing my family I mean that just my heart hurts even thinking about that so in some way in that I that is the the thing I keep going back to that I I'm not grateful it happened now but it could have been so much worse and so I do think about that. I don't really feel sad for the training put in and kind of feeling like it's wasted. I just straight away took five days off. This is day five um, of not running. Because I just figured, A, if my body was trying to, you know, my immune system was trying to put up its best guard, why would I not give it all the energy it can? Um, and B, the last thing I would have wanted was to say, okay, well, why don't I just like do a 50K myself or why don't I just do something, knowing that I was going to have a rough few days with the girls because they got started getting sick pretty immediately after we got the test. So I'd be, then I'd be in a really uh, vulnerable state, but also then I'd be putting pressure on that. And if then I did test positive and had to quarantine, then I just would have been doing those extra days for nothing and all that stress for nothing, stressing my body out. So I just decided to cut my losses to say what I've been trying to say all along, which is that it wasn't, it's not about the race. For so many years, my running was about the race, the finish line. Oh, sorry, hiccups. The finish line. Um, but this one wasn't about that. It was what I learned along the way. I enjoyed so many beautiful runs. I learned about more about myself. And uh, so I still got to do that. And so while it would have felt cool to, you know, don't get me wrong, I'm not um, getting to the, I'm not, uh, of course I had a vision of me crossing the finish line knowing I just ran 31 miles, this is my longest race, I'm an ultra marathoner. Of course I thought about that. And honestly, I was curious to see where I fell in terms of, not literally fell, where I ranked in terms of the other professional ultra marathoners. Like, how close were I to them? You know, I know I've got a long, long way to go in my downhill running and probably my uphill, my training, if I want to be serious. And I don't know if I do, but there was a part of me that was curious to have a starting point. Um, but I don't feel too bad. I'm more... There's a little bit of anxiety in me that, like, because you can get COVID any time within the 10-day window that someone is contagious there is that part of me that's like oh please don't get it on day n like please don't have the girls pass it to me on their day nine and then I don't get t tested I don't start feeling symptoms for another five days and then I've done 10 days of quarantine had five days of maybe feeling a bit crappy and then I'm positive again and then I've got another 10 days and now we're creeping in on when we're getting ready to leave for England. And so that would be stressful trying to like 
sure that, you know, they say you can test positive for many weeks after <laughs> after it. So, you know, that I just that is a little bit weighing on me. But otherwise, I had my priorities in the right place, which was making my girls feel comforted in terms of them, you know, not feeling well and what can I do to be there for them. But also, I really was careful and have been careful and will continue to not have conversations to make them feel like they're plagued or diseased or dirty or gross or anything like that. Like, we very much pinned it as just like, oh, it's just, you know, we're just feeling a bit... You just had a sickness, well, we had a sickness, we said, and we're just gonna stay in and make sure, you know, we keep, we don't wanna pass it to our friends because then they wouldn't feel well. So we're really trying to keep it casual and matter of fact and not have like scary conversations in front of them. Um, and yeah, I have to say it's been weird with kids. Um, not, um, it's been weird with kids not um like that first day when we found out like there was that part of me that wanted to just cry and i i had to fight back tears a few times because i didn't while we were like traveling home and getting the girls lunch until i like held it held it down until it was quiet time where I could let it out and Steve went on his run and I had a good cry and they listened to like <laughs> what hurts the most and um, what else? Keep Holding On by Avril Lavigne. I'm one of those people that like when I'm upset, like I need those sad songs to like help me get it out and then I'm okay. <laughs> so I listened to like a chain of sad songs, I cried and then I felt okay. So. Um, but it was weird having to hold it in like that I've never really done that I've always just let my emotions go as they as they go but having to walk that line of you know I want to be vulnerable around my girls but I also don't want to scare them especially at this age with Bailey so yeah it was weird okay this has been way too long I'm sorry but wanted to get the rest of it out <laughs> so you gave your short answer and I gave my long-winded as normal approach and I've also realized that I didn't start a watch when I started this when we started the walk run so um, my timing is going to be a bit off with when you're at the 30 minute line so we're going to do a 30 and a 45 today okay so when you're at the 30 um, you're just gonna have to stop yourself. I'm gonna have us do strides somewhere around there. And then you can just keep going or stop early if you want. Okay, um, so next we're gonna do our senses check-in, our five senses. Um, I'm gonna pick up this newspaper that is in the road, throw it on that person's driveway because people don't pick up their newspapers and it annoys me, as I've probably mentioned before. <laughs> uh, we're going to do our, our senses check-in. So what you're going to do is... I'm going to go into a different neighbourhood, I think, actually. I was just walking along the typical place I run do for these together runs, but I think I might go somewhere else. Um, so what you're going to do, we're going to work through our five senses and check in with each of them. And uh, we're going to just see if we can take in this experience and be present for it. Uh, in each of the ways, in each, from each of our senses, especially the ones that we typically underuse. So first, I want you to take a nice deep breath. And another one. That's great, thank you. Okay, so what do you smell? I smell bread. I'm walking past a little deli place and smell bread. What do you smell? What do you taste right now? For me, kind of taste a bit of that like uh, staleness, which doesn't really have much of a taste, but it's just like when you've not had anything for a while. Okay. Next, if you are listening through some headphones, when I tell you, you know, just take your headphones. I have a hanger stuck to my foot. <laughs> um, <laughs> you, 
You're just going to take some, uh, take your headphones out and you are going to listen to all the sounds you hear around you and you're going to really just try and pay attention to all the different noises that are around you, especially the things that you wouldn't typically notice because they're just kind of, your brain is uh, recognizing them as just a normal noise and not paying attention. So I can hear some wind chimes right now, which I probably wouldn't notice otherwise. I, okay, and then you'll just take about 30 seconds or so to do that within your own surroundings. If you are unable or it's unsafe to take your headphones out, you can just listen to my sounds and see what you can pick there. Okay, ready? All right, pull your headphones out and let's take a listen. Okay, what did you hear? Was there something you wouldn't normally pay attention to? Like for me, I noticed the sound of the leaves blowing along the street, kind of making that like noise. Um, what did you notice? Okay, and next we're gonna go to our sense of feel, sense of touch. Just gonna take 30 seconds or so to just be in your body. Just notice what sensations you feel and yeah, we'll go from there. It's a lot harder to judge a sense of time when I'm walking to running. <laughs> I'm just going to give you a few more seconds. Feels like it's a bit long time. Okay. What did you notice? The things that you always feel on your run that you just kind of Oh, that's just part of running, like I normally mention the sweat on my brow. Or were there things that are different that you notice today that you don't normally pay attention to? I'd love to hear. I imagine you were telling me. For me, I really noticed the it's cold out this morning, and so I noticed the like little, I don't know what the term would be, a little drip in my nose, on the end of my nose, because it's cold. Uh, someone can tell me the term for that. Okay, and finally, friends, we're going to look. We're going to use our eyes. I really, as always, want you to, even if you run the same loop every time you run, look for something different. Really hone in on some kind of detail. Maybe it's the veins of a leaf. Maybe it's what the flag outside a house has on it that you walk past every day. Maybe it's what brand of air conditioner the some, someone that you're walking past or running past has. Look for a small detail or a few small details. Let's do that instead today rather than our usual looking all around. Just let your eyes go to where they want to go but make sure you hone in on details on each place your eye is drawn to. 
Let's just do that for a little bit. If you're out in nature, really try and get as many natural beauty things, just the wonders of Mother Earth and our world as you can. Okay, what was your thing you noticed that you don't normally see? For me, I noticed the, this one tree that uh, has shed probably 90% of its leaves. The branches were like kind of turned down rather than like pointing up, which is quite interesting. I'd never normally notice that, and I don't even know if I would have noticed that if I was running past it. Hi, I hope I'm okay with time here. Uh, I swear I looked at the clock and it said 24 minutes about 10 minutes ago, so um, <laughs> right now it says 27. So if you're coming up on, if you're in a 30 minute group, you're gonna be coming up on the end of your run soon. If there was a big break in time, I don't know what happened and I apologise. <laughs> um, this is just an all over the place run, kind of like what's going on right now for me, I suppose. Um, but yes, okay, so we've done our five senses check-in. I wanna just take a moment to see how you feel doing that. It, for me, it feels so good to ground myself in nature, to ask myself how I am, both physically and mentally. But then also just to, be in the run. So often we are just getting on with our runs, we're just doing things quickly, we're not really thinking it through, but this gives you the opportunity to, to be present in your run and just experience it. So I hope you enjoyed that exercise and we will have a few more minutes of going and then uh, I'll have the 30 minute group whenever it is your 30 minute time is up just come to a walk um, I'm hoping actually you know what I think just so that I don't end up telling you to do a stride when it's time to walk let's just have you do two strides now so a stride is where you're going to run at about 80% of your max um, for just 10 to 15 seconds, you're not trying to take big steps, trying to take little steps. And those of you who have been doing together runs with me every week, by now, I don't want you to time yourself or measure your distance, but you probably are going a little bit further than you were before. Not by taking bigger steps, but by just building more power over the weeks you've been doing this. Okay, so I just want you to do 10 to 15 seconds. Are you ready? In three, two, and one. Off you go. And come to a jog. You go as slow as you need to go. Doesn't matter how what speed you go at in this recovery between, if you're doing 45 minutes or beyond your regular runner, of long distances, you can keep running at normal speed. And then we'll do another one. And uh, then we'll talk a bit more. So just gonna give you a few seconds to catch your breath. It's so strange walking. I really don't walk around my neighborhood, ever. 
Uh, I did when I had when I was pregnant, I suppose, but since then, I really haven't done it much. Okay, you ready? You're gonna do another one. In three, two, and one. Off you go. And coming to a walk or a jog. And then once you hit the 30 minute mark, 30 minute group, you just come to a walk and you can just check out whenever you like. I want to remind everyone, let's just take a picture, see? We haven't done that. Post stride, well, we've got the glow, you got the breathing hard. Let's stop, take a picture. I want everyone to just stop right now. Doesn't matter what your scenery looks like. Doesn't matter how pretty things look just take a picture of you so I can imagine us being together right now and upload it to social media if you can or send it to me through email share it with your friends when you talk about these together runs you're helping it to grow and because of you sharing it we are in talks with some people about potentially working it into some different way and at the running for all team we're spending a lot of time figuring out how we can make these even better and that is all because you you guys have been sharing it. When you upload your picture and say, did a together run today, I loved it, or da 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 da, definitely recommend doing it. That not only makes my day, so thank you, but it also is just, just so good to know that the things I'm putting energy into, especially with no sponsors or anything related, is worth it not worth it i shouldn't say worth it it's worth it because of what i get i really appreciate it and enjoy it but it just makes it really rewarding for me and makes that like you know i said there's no sponsors with these i'm just doing it but it makes it really good so thank you um and uh, if you can't do that then maybe you can leave a review on itunes or just share it within your local group thank you okay um let me check the time. Oh, jeez. Two dogs, one on either side. Okay, so you probably have come to a walk by now, 30-minute group. Thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to go sign up for the email newsletter anywhere at runningforreal.com. You can sign up. I think you'll enjoy it. Thank you. Okay, 45-minute group. I'm going to do another 15 or just under with you. And... This is normally the section where I would talk about something. What do I talk about? I've been in the house for days. I was supposed to be racing tomorrow. I was meant to, was going to do a together run with Mario. I was going to have him lead some of the bits. I was going to have him do the body scan for us. I was going to have him lead some of the other parts of the run. I was really looking forward to seeing how that worked. Um, I was also going to meet my dear friend Elizabeth um, and I was going to have a meeting with a few of the running brands in the area Um, so I'm pretty bummed about that part I apologise, it's a digger thing just doing like loop-de-loops in the street Um, so uh, I was really looking forward to those elements and then yeah, we haven't seen Steve's brother in five years so we were going to go see them uh, and we're going to have time with Steve's family which is going to be really nice so switching that for being at home is maybe not the choice I would have made but I will say it's been good for us to just be at home and not have any pressure to do things. I mean, Steve and I have definitely used this opportunity to take turns and get some errands done that we've wanted to do. Um, So that has been really good. Um, He's almost finished with our deck. He's so close, so close, which has been good. Um, But also just being with the girls in a low pressure environment of knowing that we don't have to like keep up with the Joneses and go do activities or we don't have to um, find, I don't know, lean on other things to to entertain them but instead it's just been us which has been, although they haven't been well, in some ways it's been nice to especially spend that time with 
Bailey, who has been at preschool four days a week for months. So I'm trying to take joy in the what I can of this situation. Um, and, uh, and yeah, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do about Together Runs next week if I am either quarantined, for, uh, well, if I have COVID either way, quarantined or just, you know, if I do have COVID and struggling to breathe, then not struggling to breathe, but, you know, it's a bit harder to run, right? So if it is trying to talk and run might be too much. So I did mention in the last Together Run that if you want to do a takeover Together Run over the winter, I'm looking for people to do that. I would love for you to do that if you want to message me and let me know a few of you have. Um, we'll be looking for some guest spots, so that would be really cool to have you lead a Together Run. You don't need anything. Um, David, you did a guest Together Run on uh, the get a together around 11 I think it was and uh, I think he just taped a piece of foam over the end of his phone to like you know be a wind protector but I'll find out from him what he did you don't need a special mic but if you want a lead run I'd really love for you to do that so let me know um, and yeah let's do updates I mean I've been giving you my update in the last few minutes don't really have much of one I'm working on the book as best I can it's a pretty demoralizing process writing a book because you, you know, put a load into it and then they'll say, oh, I don't really like this or this doesn't fit here or whatever. And then you have to kind of basically, it's not, <laughs> I think before writing a book, I always, I thought it would be like, they'd just say like, oh, um, take this word out, um, switch this, there's a spelling error. But it's instead just way more like makes your brain hurt, the kind of suggestions they have. Um, and yeah, so it's been challenging, but in a good way. Um, I did have an opportunity to do something in the coming weeks that I ended up not getting the position, which they didn't tell me I was doing an interview until afterwards. But um, I didn't end up getting it. So there's that rejection piece of like, that came in of like, oh, am I good enough? And why don't people want me to do these things? But I'm trying to keep in mind that that's that like inner critic, that perfectionist, that part of me that is never satisfied. And while rejection hurts, it's also part of life. And you have to keep putting yourself in scary positions and putting yourself out there, even if it means you don't get what you want. So that's my updates. What would you tell me if we were running together right now? What would you say? I'd love to hear. If you finished, think of something else. Dig a bit deeper. What else would you tell me? Okay, thank you for sharing your updates. Really love to hear these when you upload your photos and say what the run meant to you um, and if you have thoughts on these together runs we are really digging into them right now and loving them and they feel different uh, the numbers the downloads for these are higher than the downloads for my regular show 
so I know people are enjoying them and I really love to hear from you when you do so keep those messages coming now in our final few minutes together we'll do some strides in just a few minutes it feels really weird walking while you're running but let me know how that worked on your end um, I'm wondering oh you know what I could love I'd love to hear your feedback what are your thoughts on if I did I don't know if it would work but if I did some kind of together run with some members of my family like my mum runs a little bit now if I did a little mini run with her even if it's just a few minutes of a run where we did that and then I did the rest of the run on my own or something or my sister would you like that just to get to hear them and you know they'd be really nervous and I haven't asked them yet but I think that would be something fun I could do while I was home um, and I definitely intend on doing some together runs in the various well there's only three places we're going but the three places will be my town of St Albans where my sister lives in Harrogate and uh, my aunt lives uh, in Shropshire which is a county doesn't that sound very English Shropshire or well, Americans you would say Shropshire <laughs> I hope they gave you a laugh. Um, that, always, <laughs> that always makes people laugh when I say it like that. Because I can do a pretty good American accent at this point. So if I was with you right now, I'd probably say, tell me to say something. So I'd say maybe, we are almost done with our together run, but we have a few minutes left to continue to talk. I think I said the two in an English way, didn't I? But there you go. <laughs> That's my impromptu American accent. All right, and on that note, got your uh, belly muscles working. Let's do two strides. You're going to do two strides. I'm going to listen to you breathing hard in my head. Ready? Stride number three. In three, two, and one. Off you go. Okay, and come to a walk. Actually, you don't need to walk. If you can do a 45-minute run, you can keep jogging slowly as you need to. We'll just take another 30 seconds or so. Actually, let's, let's do another body scan. You're going to do it at your own pace. Just to check in with your body as we come towards the end of this run and how it feels. So let's we'll just do that, and then we'll do another stride in a minute. Okay, that was the physical, how was your body? How about mentally, emotionally, how are you feeling? Do you feel any different beginning to now? Okay, thank you for checking in with your body. You ready to do another stride? In three, two, and one, off you go. And come to a jog. Now for my rough estimations, you have about two minutes left, but if that is less, then please just stop yourself at any point whenever it gets to 45 on your Thing. I want to remind you to share the photo you took or take another one at the end of the run, upload it, share it in your running group. It really, really helps me and uh, would really give me a pick me up during this time, knowing that me walking out here in the cold <laughs> was something you enjoyed. Uh, 
I, um, yeah. I want to thank you for all the kind words so many of you have sent me, uh, checking in and seeing how I'm doing, um, thinking of us and sending love. So, so appreciated. Um, and uh, for me, it was a good reminder that, I mean, it's kind of crazy actually that, you know, I went to New York, I was somewhat careful, but not as careful as I should have been, yet managed to escape that. And then we ended up getting it from the source I literally expected the least, the person who is the most careful in our whole life. Um, so it just goes to show that it's just everywhere. And it still blows my mind that this came from one human originally. Like, isn't that nuts? It's just, it just, I still can't wrap my head around that. Sorry, this has been very COVID heavy today, but when it flips your world upside down and you're trying not to talk about it in front of your kids, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of it in there that I wanted to use you as a therapy session. So friends, I think you should be about done with your run. So when you are, I want you to come to a walk and I want you to touch some element of nature. Again, let's ground ourselves at the end like we do. Uh, there's all these piles of leaves, but I said I think I'm going to crouch down and just touch the grass. Remembering that it's still there. It's still our way of connecting, even when the leaves have all gone. There's still plenty of life around us. So, thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate each and every one of you. I love to connect with you and uh, thanks for sharing this moment with me. I'll see you on Friday for a Running For Real episode. I've got Brad Stuhlberg coming this week and it is a good one. I'm very excited for, to share that one with you. And then I'll see you next Monday for hopefully a together run. See you then. Hi friends, just a quick message to say a big thank you to the Running For Real team. While I may be the face of Running For Real and the voice behind the podcast, there are a group of people who are working tirelessly to provide everything that runners could need within our community to make our community stronger, better and evolve and grow and learn from one another. We are working really hard to make Running For Real the place we believe it can be within our community. I just want to take a moment to thank everyone on our team. That is Victoria, Stacy, Sandy, Sally, Maria, Kelsey, Kat, Jeremy, and Erica. I appreciate each and every one of you and the hard work that you put in. Now let's get back to the show. 